In this bonus uh, series, we are going to PS App Deployment Toolkit. And in the previous video, we downloaded the framework. So it's a zip file. So let's look what that file contains. So if we go to our download folder, we got it as a zip file. And again, it's less than two megabyte. And the biggest part is actually a PDF, which have a great content in it. Let's uh, extract this one by right click and extract all. Let's uh, show extracted files when completed. So we're extracting. So then we have a lot of folders here. We have examples, which could be useful, but the actual files we want to look at are the one in the toolkit. That's the actual files we're going to use in our package and upload to Intune. There is this PDF, which is wonderful. And again, it's uh, nearly two megabytes, which takes up most of it. So I really recommend looking into that one. I'll just open it quickly, but it's uh, explained everything. It explained the system requirement, as we mentioned in the previous video, PowerShell 2 and um, Windows NT 5.1, which is uh, Windows XP and above. And yes, please do donation. This is free, but it's a very good tool. So please, uh, please donate if you can. And then you have so much. It explains all the files, which we're going through in a few seconds here. And also a lot of uh, the screenshots that we also saw in the previous video. And also all the different settings. They have um, all variables. They have a lot of syntax and the stuff that you can add. So you can customize it a lot. But we're going to go through the most common ones. So you don't need to. This is uh, when you come to more advanced. So let's close this PDF for now. And let's look at the files. So let's go into the toolkit. Here are the files what I want to focus on. So we have three top folders here and three files. Let's start with the three files here. And the config we can already rule out. We don't have to modify this one. We can leave it as, as it is. Deploy dash application.exe, we can't modify, it's an exe file, but this is the core one. This is the one that we actually deploy. When we click on this one, we start. We, I will actually do that right now. So we're gonna get the default one. So if I double click on it and say yes, then it's actually gonna run this. And we have no files, nothing to install. So it's just gonna be a dummy banner, but at least we get to see what it looks like. So it minimize all my windows. And then here is the banner and we're going to see where this file is and we're going to change that. And here is uh, the default one that we can defer or continue our installation. So let's put, um, we can put continue and it's not going to really do anything. So then we get this banner and the installation started, but it's not doing anything. So that's the, there it's completed. Excellent. So deploy dash. And again, and pop up. Excellent. Thank you very much. So deploy dash application dot exe. That's the core. That's the one we deploy. But how that one react or what it does, it's dependent on this file here, deployment application dot ps one. And this one have a lot of settings. Let's look at some. And we're coming back to that when we actually going to package our Google Chrome. So I will edit. Um, I will edit in PowerShell ISE. In the previous video, we have used Notepad++. And I'm going to zoom in a bit more here. So we get it really big and easy to look. So if we go here, it's a lot of uh, scary PowerShell code. But do not worry. You don't need to write any. You just need to edit some parameters. So for example, here we have some parameters. And we're going to do that when we do the package, such as web. Uh, app vendor, app name. So that would be uh, vendor is Google. App name would be Chrome. The app version would be 90 something. And then that would be the today's date. And the author would be me in this case. When you write, it's going to be your name. So you just fill in that. That's just metadata. Then here comes more. You have the section here, installation. That's what it's actually going to do once it's installed. So you can put the uh, what is going to run our script on the line here, 140. You also have before it's installing, you can have a welcome uh, message and maybe say, hey, I want you to ins un ins um, close Google Chrome if that's already started. You can also s give the user the chance to defer up to three times, uh, as many you want, actually. And it can check for free disk space before it start. And you also have at the end of the installation, you can have a message 
that will say what will happen. So this will ha this message will come at the end of the installation. And we're gonna do this uh, at another video following this. Just wanna show how much data is in here. So this file, very important, the deploy-application ps.1. It is a PowerShell script, but everything is here done for us. We just need to put in the, the text we want or the action to do. So those two files, very important. Support files, this one folder is empty. Here you could put language or extra files that you wanted for installation and stuff. App deployment toolkit, here you have all the banners and everything. And we're gonna focus on two files. So one is called app deploy toolkit banner.png. That's the banner you see. So this is the default one. So you can just modify this one for your needs, if you have Photoshop or GIMP or another. If we look at the properties, you can see on the details here that it has to be 450 pixel in width and 50 in height and bit depth 24. I have prepared one already on my desktop. So I'm gonna take that one. It looks like this. And I'm gonna replace that file with this one. So that's gonna be the one who's visible. So I copy mine and I go back here and I will replace it. I will paste it, control V. So I will replace this one with my banner. And I'm gonna do the same with the icon here, app deployment toolkit logo.ico. And you don't have to, you can keep this, but if you wanna brand it to your company or your needs, which you probably want, then you wanna change these two. So if we look at the icon, this is the default one. And I have another icon that I have created, which looks pretty good here on the screen, but when it's smaller, it doesn't look good at all, but I'm, I'm, I'm okay with that. So I'm doing control C, copy this one, go here and replace the app deployment toolkit logo.ico. So paste, and I'm gonna replace it. So now I have my branding here. So that's the only files you need to change in app deployment toolkit so that you do once and then you copy, so you don't need that. Files is empty for now, but it's a very important folder. Here is where we're going to put all our installation files. Our, uh, um, if we did a CMD installer, we put it here. If it's a PowerShell, a PS1, the MSI file or the EXE file, all our installation files have to be under here, under files. So the actual package is going to be here. But our Intune Win files are going to include all these files. And when we deploy in the program in the Intune console, we're going to call deploy dash application.exe or actually we're gonna uh, call for PowerShell script before but we come to that later that will call deployment application.exe but this is the core for PS app deployment toolkit so that was um, this part about um, what uh, this uh, toolkit is built up on in next video we're gonna look a bit how this one run and how the defer option works so we see you in next video. Great so far. Thank you very much.